and we are back again in what I consider to be just absolutely perfect morel habitat. These large trees here, and there's some others around, are all tulip poplar. Um, and I talk about tulip poplar a lot. There's one right back there. The smaller looking tree, this is privet. This is what privet looks like when it is a mature form. And that's what I'm looking for. There are also small privets popping up out of the ground throughout the area. Um, and that's what I look for. That's what produces these thickets that are just almost impenetrable, as you can see behind me here. But um, to find larger quantities of these mushrooms in the part of southern Appalachia that I live in, this is the type of habitat that I am using hand pruners and cutting small tunnels that I can crawl into and the mushrooms seem to like the microclimates and shelter from the extreme weather swings that we have in this part of the country. And they get that up under these thickets. Um, so winter has returned and it is currently raining lightly and 39 degrees. So it is not as pleasant as my last couple forays. Today is March 12th, and this is the third foray to actually attempt to collect morels that I have gone on in 2023. And um, I'm just getting out here into the area, so I haven't spotted anything yet, but uh, let's see what we can find. Continuing on, and the uh, foray took a little bit of a southward turn earlier when I took a really hard fall crossing a tree over a creek. Um, at that point, I got a little scared. I had felt my neck pop slightly, um, considered turning around and going home. I had not found much, um, got discouraged began walking faster, not really paying attention. This is not the mind frame to be hunting morels in. And I stopped, slowed myself down, got my heart rate down, started to be more observant, came into an area I was not feeling confident about, but turns out that continuing on was a good idea as it usually is. And there's a bunch back in here. So keep your mind frame calm and observant and also be really careful where you step. Uh, a lot of times you're out of cell phone range and I know you can get an SOS call out, but uh, I don't wanna have to do that or for you to. So I'm gonna get these and see what else we can find.
continuing on and uh, the, the going is rough, the finding is okay, but I am just always amazed at how these mushrooms, when I'm hunting them, just constantly remind me that without a calm observational mindset, you will not find these mushrooms. They are the most intensely confounding to new foragers and they're also one of the most alluring and so people go after them i talk to people at every market that i sell at um, and they're always just frustrated after sometimes years of hunting these without finding them and uh, i spent years hunting them without finding them and um the main thing that changed in me was just honing my observational skills and learning to be calm. If you are moving quickly at all and you're in a mind frame of, I need to find these, it is not going to happen. Um, you got to slow down, take note of every leaf on every plant and wait for those patterns and textures of the mushrooms to emerge out of the landscape and when you do they wind up just popping up right in front of you right where you would have walked past or maybe even stepped on them. Anytime I spot one and I stop, set my basket down to look around and see if there's any more, I can't tell you how many times I have put my basket on top of mushrooms. And so I always look under my basket and it just goes to show that we really are not a species that is very good at observing. So you really have to train your mind patience and keen observational skills are the only way to find these. standing here just in awe at this flush of mushrooms that I am in amongst. It is really, really crazy. Um, They are just everywhere around me. And this tree right here that you see, the tall tree, that is a hickory and it is dead. And I can see quite a few large morels right at the base of it. And there's really no tulip poplar right here. So I am guessing that this tree was already hosting these in its root system out here and it has died and they are going buck wild consuming the nutrients that they have available to them from the tree dying um, but boy what a sight to see
the double headed. Well, I'm running out of battery, but uh, I'm gonna continue on with my harvest and um, I appreciate you guys joining me for another video. Likes, subscriptions, comments, all really help my channel. And uh, just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channel. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Hope your season's going well or will go well if it hasn't started yet. And uh, I hope your basket is overflowing. Thanks so much.